This is part of a problem-solving lecture series in investments. Today, we will have a look at problem 7 in chapter 2 from the 10th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of this problem. Let's go ahead and highlight some key facts provided in the problem. We are told to look at figure 2.3, which is provided right underneath this problem here. Uh, and look at the treasury bond maturing in May 2030. So May 2030 would be this line, this row over here. And for this treasury security, treasury bond uh, maturing in May 15, 2030, we would like to solve the following questions. Let's so start with part A. How much would you have to pay to purchase one of these bonds that mature in May 15, 2030. Well, obviously, if you are a buyer, a potential buyer would look at the asked. And a potential seller would have been looking at the bid. But in this case, we want to look at the ask column. And in that column, we see the number 161.1875. So that's actually the a percentage of the par value of the bond that we would have to pay today to purchase this bond so therefore effectively the price that we would need to pay would be equal to 161.1875 percent of the the face value of i assume 1000 us dollars as a result multiplying these two numbers is quite straightforward 1611 dollars and 88 cents would be the purchase price of this bond now for for part b we are looking for the coupon rate in this case, we realize that the coupon rate is 6.25%. Uh, so therefore, it implies the coupon payments would be equal to 6.25% of the face value, which is $1,000, as we agreed. So therefore, that would give us $62.50 coupon payments annually. If this bond, if this treasury bond would pay semi-annual coupons, which, which is probably the case here. So in that case, the semi-annual coupons would be semi-annual coupons would be simply half of this value, which would be equal to $31.25. And finally, part C we are looking for the yield to maturity or synonymously you can call it the required rate of return of the investor and that would simply be listed under ask yield ask yield and in that particular case the ask yield is just directly 2.113 percent so the meaning for this number here uh, the ask yield is that um, this treasury bond would give its investor who is willing to hold it for the next uh, let's say 18 years until 2000 may 2030 will earn 2.113 percent return annually return annually for the next 18 years and that solves our problem Hope to see you in the next video.